It promises being made to allow opening a bank account much easier without the hassle of countless paperwork and requirements. Answer Merchant Bank says it has been working with the central bank to simplify the process. Sinalala reports. Managing Director of Answer Merchant Bank Limited, Gregory Hill, says the premise of multiple documents required to open a bank account may be outdated and hinders the ease of performing what you refer to as a simple task. The rigors of paperwork were created to manage anti-money laundering and ensuring that identities are correlated to uh, correct personalities operating bank accounts. So, you know, time has changed, technology has, has evolved. And we hear you, we take on that challenge. He says Ansa Merchant Bank has been in discussion with the Central Bank of Trinidad and Tobago to make the process easier. Certainly from our, our perspective and our financial institution, we will be coming with a new state-of-the-art technology that will enable opening bank accounts a lot easier while maintaining the robustness of the compliance process and working with our partners at the Central Bank uh, to do so. So change is coming. And Central Bank Governor Dr. Alvin Hiller agrees that opening a bank account should not be such a difficult process and says the Central Bank has been working to make this easier for both individuals and businesses. Uh, some months ago we, we issued something called simplified due diligence to the banks for less onerous um, re requirements for individuals and for small businesses. So they are taking that on board, we are dialoguing with them because there is, a, as, as was mentioned, a, a balance between uh, quality of the customers and making sure that, that they, they're not into money laundering or so. They were speaking during a global economic update and impact on TNT hosted by the United Nations at the Hyatt on Thursday. Sonolala, TTT News. Central Bank Governor Dr. Alvin Hilaire says issues with access to foreign exchange will continue at least in the short run. Speaking at the United Nations Global Economic Forum at the Hyatt Regency on Thursday, Mr. Hilaire explained that access to Forex will persist until the market clears. We all know that we are in a situation now in Trinidad and Tobago where the market is not clearing. And so we do have some access problems. And I think for this, in the short run, I think as a society, what it is important that we have a consistent, um, how should I put it, foreign exchange regime that involves better access and that involves more equitable access. So I do agree with you, but we are in a transition point. And he adds that businesses and individuals will continue to have to work with their banking institutions to supply their forex needs, but is hopeful that the issue will improve in the long term. For the most part, for the short run and immediate, it may not be that satisfying. You may need to continue to work with your institutions to access the foreign exchange. And then as a society, once we have developed you know, a proper macroeconomic situation, then the ease of, of access may become better as the market, as the market clears.